Hey, what did you find? We went on a scavenger place to find the whale museum, and we did. And so this is a quote-unquote kids' room. There were whale books, there were costumes, which Rosie's trying to put one on, struggling here. And there were coloring sheets and some movies talking about how whales migrate and things like that. So, hope you like the video. You want to spin for us? What else are you? Okay. Let's measure you. Take, you got because. <laughs> Wait, you still have shoes on. No, I don't. Oh, <laughs> the real one's too on. <laughs> Mommy. Are gray whales right or left-handed? Scientists think most gray whales eat on their right side because there are more scars there and baleen, the baleen is shorter. Here are the parasitic worms. Unlike other species, worms infest the inside of a whale. Here's a 27 foot long worm that came from a gastrointestinal tract of a por porpoise. Um, whales may get worms by eating larva infested prey or eggs floating in the water. Once inside the whale, larva and adult worms eat the whale's tissue and can damage internal organs. A weakened immune system can lead to disease and possible death. Some scientists theorize that some mass strandings are related to internal parasites. See, that is a very long worm right there. The skeleton of Alaskan orca calf was found in 1989 and donated to the Whale Museum. For nearly 20 years, the skull was on display here. During some renovations in the museum in 2013, we were thrilled to discover the rest of the skeleton in the closet. After recleaning and sealing the bones, the skull was finally reunited with the rest of the body. While not all the bones are presented or on display in the correct order, you can see a good size comparison between an orca calf and the adult male next to it.
for doing a sort of a museum in that case. So this one was only a year old, so it wasn't fully grown yet. Grey whales in the news. In May 2013, scientists photographed and identified a grey whale off Namibia, Africa. This is the first time a grey whale has ever been seen in the southern hemisphere and may represent the longest known migration of any mammal. This whale and an individual spotted off Israel in 2010 are the first grey whales known to have traveled in the Atlantic Ocean since Atlantic population was hunted to extinction in the 1700s. Scientists speculate that these two grey whales from the Eastern Pacific population crossed an increasingly warming and melting Arctic. They may be among pioneers of their species, paving the way for future colonization of the Atlantic Ocean. And so it came out here and crossed over here. And this part here was where it was really bumpy because we had wind over tide. Everyone wasn't feeling great, but no, we threw up, so that was great. And then we sailed up here, up here, we came through here, and this is where we are right now, Friday Harbour. <laughs>